What's going on guys? Welcome back to Carrasco Ranch. My name is Robert if you're new here. So in today's video we're going to discuss what it takes to get into turkey hunting. Uh, turkey hunting doesn't have to be super expensive. You don't have to get super top-notch things to enter turkey hunting. So I have a few things here with me that I'm going to go over with you and basically go into detail about what you need um, to get into turkey hunting. The reason I'm making this video is because I started my own business last year in 2019 where I day lease out um, my property for turkey hunting. So um, with that being said, I get a lot of questions from a lot of new hunters that have never done turkey hunting, but they definitely do want to get into it and to give it a shot and try it out, which I highly suggest for everybody. If you've never been turkey hunting, it's a lot of fun. It's really cool to be able to communicate with the, the wildlife. I mean, it's really neat to get the, the gobblers to gobble and you just keep, keep bringing them in, keep bringing them in and they just keep gobbling and gobbling. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, if any of you guys are interested, um, I do day lease my property out for turkey hunting. Um, usually it's just one group per day. That's all I do. And so if you are interested, I will leave my information down in the description below. Um, it's here in South Texas. I will also leave everything that I'm talking about here today that you see with me down in the description below if you are new to turkey hunting or you just want to check out any of these things that I do have up here. Um, so first off, first thing you're going to need is you're going to need something to kill the turkeys with. So first thing we're going to discuss is the shotgun. So the shotgun here is a 12 gauge. Most people use a 12 gauge. I haven't really seen anybody use a 20 gauge. Um, obviously 12 gauge is going to be a little more powerful, more load um, in that shell. So I highly recommend you're getting a 12 gauge. It's very versatile. You can use it for um, dove hunting, turkey hunting, quail hunting. Um, you can also run um, some slugs through a shotgun as well. So it's a very versatile gun. If you don't have a shotgun, it's a good idea to get a shotgun. You can do a lot of things with it. Um, as far as the load goes for that shotgun, um, this is a duck load, but uh, four, five, and six shot are usually the best for turkey hunting. Um, I prefer uh, five and six uh, load, which if you haven't seen here, this is actually uh, a turkey I took, I think it was last year or the year before that. It was a nine and a, nine and a quarter inch beard, and I used a five shot um, load here. And this is where, if any of you guys are interested in it, uh, this is where you'll be turkey hunting is where I shot this bird. I do have uh, pictures of that. I wasn't into YouTube at that time. I just started making YouTube videos a couple months ago, so uh, I didn't get none of that stuff on camera, but I do plan on getting at least one turkey on camera this year if I can, uh, preferably with the bow also. So, so the next thing we're going we're gonna to move into is um, the call. There's a couple different calls you can use for turkey hunting. Um, the one I like is the plate. I, I just like the plates. I'm better with the plates. I do have some mouthpieces. I have three different mouthpieces up here. I'm not so good with these mouthpie mouthpieces. These take a little bit more practice, so that's why I stick to the plate. There are those box ones, which I'm pretty sure everybody has seen. It's a little, little rectangular box. You just slide it over and it makes a little sound. Um, but these are, I really like these. I mean, it sounds really realistic. Caught in tons of turkeys with just this little plate, um, the slate. And so like I said, guys, I'm gonna leave all this stuff down in the description below for you guys who are interested in checking this stuff out. So the next thing we're gonna discuss is the decoys. Here I have a tom and a hen with me. Um, I put these two usually together. I usually put up the hen before and the tom after as if he's chasing the hen. These work really, really well. Um, I have seen some toms begin to start fighting with um, this decoy tom here. It's a lot of fun to see. They come in strutting and stuff like that. So if you do have the money for decoys, decoys is um, something I would highly recommend if you're going to go out and turkey hunt as well. Um, the next thing we're going to discuss is well, your camo. So usually um, where I lease out is day leasing in spring. I spring day lease for turkeys and usually everything by then is pretty green. Um, so camo would be 
usually some green and some brown depending on on where you're hunting as well your environment i actually just got this camo pattern yesterday and go out, go out, i'm going to go out and quail hunt today but um this is really good for like mesquite trees down here in south texas i felt like it would blend in really well for the mesquite trees um so green is usually the best camo for spring turkey hunting and of course during the fall it's going to be a little bit more of a dead looking camo that would probably fit your environment the best again if you're depending on where you're hunting as well try to blend in with your environment um the next thing so turkeys have really really keen eyesight for movement um they're always going to be uh, preyed upon by you know coyotes foxes and anything else that's trying out trying to get them so they have really good eyesight they developed really good eyesight and they pick up movement very very well so one thing i highly recommend is covering your face um, sometimes the turkeys will spook if they do catch a glimpse of your face or if they do catch some movement so i highly recommend this basically goes over your head this goes this piece right here bends over your nose and it basically just looks like that covers your from here down um, it's a really good idea to cover your face so the next thing we're going to talk about is um, a bow. So this is a little bit more advanced than a shotgun. It's a little harder to hunt turkeys with a bow. Um, here I have a Bear Pledge um, compound bow. It's a very cheap, inexpensive bow, but it's a very accurate bow for the money. It retails for about 200 and something dollars. It's not too expensive, but you can hunt turkeys with a bow, which I am going to be trying to do um, come turkey season. Now I'm not going to go too much into um, bow hunting turkeys with a bow because this, is, this video is mainly for somebody who's entry level into turkey hunting just trying to get into turkey hunting. So we're just going to focus mainly on the shotgun aspect of things. Now how you hunt these birds depends. Um, you can either walk and call. What I mean by walk and call is you're, you're cameled up. You're walking through the woods and you're calling and calling, seeing if you can get a, a bird to gobble. Once you get a bird to gobble, you can go back into the brush, hide out, and look towards a open spot. And preferably, if you have decoys, set those decoys up and begin calling. And those toms will usually come and um, either try to attack or try to see what's, what those decoys are doing. So that's one way to hunt. Here in South Texas, also, we do have feeders, which is why I have the corn here. Uh, we have feeders and blinds. Uh, prefer um, specifically on my place um, I offer the hunters the choice if they want to walk and call or if they want to sit in a blind and hunt um, so basically feeders go off throw out corn locations you want to focus on so on my property here I have a really large tank it's a little over three quarters of an acre I have a really low lining grassy area and I have really tall mature trees those are really good locations for turkeys the large trees provide a roosting area Water, down here in South Texas, water is very scarce, so it's very important. Um, so for that reason, I do have a lot of turkeys on my property because of the water source, as well as the, the trees near the water source. And um, food plots, also really good locations to find turkeys. So the places you really want to focus on are low-lining, large mature, mature trees, and water source areas. Um, that's the reason here on my property I do have a lot of turkeys because I do have all three and I do food food plots every year for mainly deer um, but it also attracts turkeys as well so uh, definitely focus and key in and hone in on those areas that's where you will find turkeys uh, most of the time at and like I said guys if any of you guys are interested in turkey hunting down here in South Texas uh, give me a call I will leave all my information down below you can also email me uh, it's usually easier to get a hold of me by email I'll leave everything down in the description below you can also find me on Instagram at Carrasco underscore ranch and on Facebook at Carrasco ranch so you definitely find me on there if you're interested in turkey hunting and without further ado guys I hope you all found this video helpful informational and useful especially if you're a new turkey hunter especially if you're a new turkey hunter trying to enter um, the turkey hunting world so without further ado guys Appreciate y'all stopping by and watching. And like always, be careful, be good, take care, and God bless. We'll catch you later.